This is Build Your Difference, a podcast created by Blue Artists, a brand platform with one goal, to help great visionaries like you build impressive brands. Every month, we'll bring you insightful tips, knowledge, and compelling stories from successful entrepreneurs and the Blue Artists team on how to create and market a winning brand that does more than just launch a new product or service. It starts an ongoing conversation because you're not just making a brand, you're making a difference. Let's start building. So we talked about Brandisk Academy and what that means for your team team members, those who want to join the site and work as either an artist, a guide, producer. What about uh, your clients? What is Brandesk doing? What have since they've moved out of development into the growth? What is happening on that front in terms of clients? Well, um, well, okay, okay. Clients, I, I think so far, clients have been delighted with with the brand desk experience i think a lot of our a lot of the clients who've been with blue artist prior to you know being exposed to brand desk it's been a bit of a shift because we're, it's not the kind of agency approach that they're used to now it's more of a broader platform so there's a bit of a, a little bit of a learning curve to understanding that you know you as a client um need to sort of approach things a little differently than you would if you're working with an agency who's sort of handling everything for you and, and you're just paying a bill. Um, so, you know, in brand desk clients had to be a little more hands-on in terms of giving their feedback, rating the producers and the, and the talent that they're working with. Um, so th there's a little bit more of a, it's just a different sort of mindset, but we think it's one that makes sense and one that is a natural evolution of, of, of growing and scaling. Um, but the other thing that we're really noticing is that um, what Brandesk is great at is it's great at providing services. It's great at connecting people who are providing services. So we've got this great workflow infrastructure. We've got producers and service providers. But what happens if you, you know, let's say you've come to Brandesk to get your website designed. Well, what happens when the design is finished and now it's time to build your website? You know, a lot of clients, that's where they, it, it's like, wait a second, you guys designed my website, which is great, but now what? What's the next thing? How do, do, do I get this built on WordPress? Are you gonna do it? Am I, do I have to do it? Do I have to go to Squarespace? How does this work? And we, and we, we thought, you know, it would be really great if we could find a way to reduce that kind of friction so that we could create an environment where we really are the place that visionaries come to, to build, not just to build designs and assets, but also to build infrastructure. And in 2020, when you talk about infrastructure, you're talking about the internet. Um, you're talking about building a website that you can manage. We're, we're talking about email. We're talking about storage, online storage, cloud storage. Um, I mean, this is real high tech stuff. We're, you know, we're talking about, you know, like today when we're talking about marketing, we're not just talking about doing marketing for you, but you know, like if you want to do an email newsletter, it's good. It's not enough to have someone write the newsletter. You got to have one of these platforms. You got to have, you know, there's so many different email newsletter platforms that you can subscribe to. And so we looked at all this information and we said, wouldn't it be great if our customers didn't have to leave brand desk to get these elements of their infrastructure met to get these needs met what if we could meet those needs for our customers and provide even more value to their experience on brand desk and so we looked at two of my favorites actually probably three of my favorites squarespace wix and weebly now honestly of the three squarespace is my favorite and listen I think Squarespace is great. If you're out there and you're listening and you want to build your website, I am not telling you not to build it on Squarespace, okay? Hear me. Give them a try. But what I'm saying is if you find something you don't like, then you can always come back to Brandesk because guess what? We're competing. We want to build an environment that's just, if not just as compelling, more compelling than Squarespace, Wix, Weebly, et cetera, GoDaddy, et cetera. When we looked at Squarespace, I'm gonna use them as sort of a model. 
I see a safe space where I can come in, I can design a website really based off my own imagination, anything I can think of, I can almost design it in Squarespace. But then I can also manage purchasing my domain. I can, I can manage, uh, you know, setting my, setting my email system up with Google Suite. I can manage my email marketing. I can sell products and handle inventory all within Squarespace. So what ends up happening is Squarespace really becomes my online workspace. It almost becomes my office. <laughs> really, it's my office. When I'm thinking about working, I'm thinking about logging into Squarespace because that's where everything is. And we thought, well, okay, people are already having a similar experience with us on Brandesk. They're coming in to handle services, social media, you know, design services, PR, marketing, all that kind of stuff is already being handled in Brandesk. What if they could stay in Brandesk and build their own websites, access their email, um, store all their files, you know, just everything on Brandesk. And that really made a lot of sense. I mean, it was almost too compelling not to invest in. So we built Brandesk hosting and it wasn't an overnight success. Um, you know, uh, it, it actually launched in two phases and we spent the last five years building Brandesk and this was part of it. But this part of it, the hosting part didn't launch day and date on May 1st with, uh, with, um, with everything else. On May 1st, we actually launched a very rough kind of beta <laughs> for Brandesk hosting. I mean, functionally, all the services were there, but we were so focused on just getting the services right that we didn't really spend the time to get that sort of user experience right. The kind of, you know, making it kind of aesthetically as compelling as some of our competitors. So since that launch, that initial launch, we have been working to make the aesthetics of brand s coasting just as compelling and we finally got there and i'm really happy to say that as of right now well actually as of last month brand s coasting i think it's really where it needs to be i think it's it's, it's beautiful if you go to www.branddeskhosting.com you're going to see i think a really compelling reason to not just begin building on brand desk but to also stay building on brand desk well, in talking about uh, hosting, I know you mentioned uh, a number of, um, of competitors, uh, Squarespace, Wix, Weebly. What is, it, what is it about Brandesk hosting that you think should have people coming, running to Brandesk's door? You know, what is it about Squarespace, Weebly that they're lacking that Brandesk is picking up slack on when it comes to hosting? Oh, man, that is actually a really good question because it's it's there's so many ways for me to answer that question that because because <laughs> because they're slacking on a lot so <laughs> i mean <laughs> so like I'm, I'm thinking okay which one of these should i pick up on let me i'm gonna start with two i'm gonna start with two okay. the the first thing is the comprehensive experience okay um actually Let's put a pin in that. I'll come back to that later. I'm going to start with the with the low hanging fruit. Low hanging fruit. Email. I'll start with email. If you're on Squarespace, okay, and I love these guys. I'm telling you, I love Squarespace. Go build your website on Squarespace, and if you find that it's not meeting all your needs, then come to Brandesk Coasting because that way we don't have to we don't have to convince you. If you build your site on Squarespace and you say, "Boy, I wish I could," you know, also get my email hosted here as well. Well, guess what options you have. G Suite. And actually, that's the only option you have. So you don't have options. You just have G Suite. And is there anything wrong with G Suite? Well, I don't know. $7.99 a month for one email? You tell me if that's what you want. But if I'm on Squarespace and I'm already logging into Squarespace to deal with my website, it would be so much easier if I could also deal with my email, my email marketing, everything else was also there. It just makes sense to me. So, you know, Squarespace already is providing email marketing and I think their email marketing service is beautiful. It's beautiful. But why aren't they providing email? Well, I know why. It's because, you know, it's not in their wheelhouse. That's just not something that they want to invest in. And 
And that's okay. They don't have to. We will. We will. So on Brand Desk Hosting, when you, when, you, when you log into your Brand Desk Hosting account, you're not just able to manage your website. You're not able just to manage your email marketing. You can also manage your email, your professional email. You don't have to go to Google. I know a lot of people who are sort of disillusioned now with Google. Google's a great company. I love what they're doing. Um, but, you know, some people just don't want to be a part of that giant global behemoth, you know, having access to all of their data. So some people want a little bit of autonomy and they look for alternatives for where they can host their email, like Yahoo, Hotmail, or, some, you know, some of these other hosting providers. I'm I know proud people to, who are still on AOL email address. You know people who are still on it. Okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> some, yeah, some, of the, if you're still on AOL, it might, you might want to consider making an upgrade. <laughs> the I mean, really coming across the road. <laughs> just, just, you know, let, let AOL go. Let AOL go. It might be time. <laughs> uh, wise words. Um, so, so, so that's the first thing is that, is that you can log into brand desk hosting and you can really, you know, manage everything there. Mm -hmm. And I really do mean everything. So what's the second thing? What the second thing I said was the sort of comprehensive environment. And, um, and so I don't just mean everything in terms of your IT, okay? Your website, your email, your email marketing, your online storage, your domain names, your, your app, okay? We, that's something we haven't talked about. I don't know who else is doing this, but we actually allow you to manage your app and your website in the same environment. It's, it's, it's crazy. But on you top of that, without having an app these days, right? You know what, John, I really want to dive into that. That's something I really want to dive into. So, so put a pin in that. Let's come right back to apps, <laughs> app development. Okay. And let me just finish this thought that when you're in brand desk, not only is it a place where you can handle all your IT needs, but guess what? We also, you, the, the regular brand desk experience is also available to you. So you also have access to our marketing, our publishing, our, um, our, uh, our, our, our uh, executive and virtual assistants, our graphic design, okay? Our, uh, our music label, our media group, all of this you have access to, you can build virtually every single part, every single element of your business and brand just by logging into your brand desk account. I think it's compelling. I think it's very compelling and you know, it's, I think it's going to catch on. It might not catch on immediately. I mean, people are not starved for options these days, but I think what, what, what's going to happen is people are going to start to realize there are too many options and that there isn't really a compelling difference between a lot of them. And so it's, it's, it's more about, Hey, you know, convenience. I just want to, I just want to have convenience. All right. I, I don't want to have to be bouncing around and managing all these different accounts and paying all these different companies. If I can save money and have a single login, okay, or two single logins, because as of right now, we do separate the brand desk hosting login from your regular brand desk account login. It's your choice. If you want to have the same login, you can, but we give people the option to separate their logins so that, you know, if someone comes into your infrastructure account, they don't immediately also have access to your, you know, brand desk services that you might be, you know, your marketing that also might be, might be going on. So it's, it's a personal choice that we allow our customers to decide. But um, certainly, you know, being able to just go to one place and do everything and save money is, I think, a really compelling argument. Well, um, I know, partly from having attempted it myself, that building a website is no small feat. Um, you know, whether you're just on one of those, I don't know if Squarespace does this, I think Wix sort of does something along these lines. You can move blocks of chunks of content around. Yeah. You know, almost like a Tetris building block. You can do your website yeah. that way. Yeah. Or if you want to really get into it and do the, all the HTML, the code and everything. Um, but it's time consuming, especially if you don't have a visual sense. Um, I know I've tried putting ones together where I guess if you're really visually conscious, you could do this in an afternoon, whereas it's three weeks down the road and I'm still like, wait, does my contact page look all right? <laughs> you, know? you know what? 
<laughs> let it me be look. daunting for people. Yeah, it, yeah. Um, so as far as you're concerned, John, let me just say, look, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to convince you to come to Brandes Coasting. I'll let you make that decision. <laughs> but if you do, let me know. I'm gonna give you a special discount, okay? Because there's no there's no reason for you to be dealing with what you're dealing with. So if you do want to give it a try, I'll give you a discount. Just let me know. But that being said, that being right, said, we've got it on tape. We've got yeah, it on tape. <laughs> <laughs> you can hold me to it. You can hold me to it. Um, that being said, um, uh, we, we give people the option. Um, mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. On Squarespace and these other services, you can go in and kind of use their visual editor. Or if you really want to get into it, you can use their custom coding. We, we have a similar approach. Um, uh, our approach is actually a little bit more diverse and more freeform. Um, if you are the kind of person that says, you know what, I don't want to get into custom coding. I, I just, I, I, I don't want to deal with HTML. I don't want to deal with code. I don't have time for that. And I also don't have time to deal with an IT person or a developer and paying them however much it costs per hour to come in and do this and manage. I want to do it myself so that I'm in control and so that if something goes wrong, I know how to fix it. Um, so for customers like that, which is me, by the way, we have a beautiful website builder. I mean, it is really beautiful. And just like Squarespace and those other services, you build kind of with blocks. You choose the blocks you want. Um, those blocks are fully customizable, fully editable, so you can you know, change how they look. And then you organize them on your website, almost like a Tetris game. And, and you're deciding, this is how I want everything to flow. Um, and on top of that, we give you access to our robust library of creative. So if you need stock photos, we got you covered. You don't have to go to another company and pay for stock photos. We've got an entire robust library of stock photos that you can just use without paying extra for. And I think it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, that being said, mm -hmm. go, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, okay. So that being said, maybe you aren't like me. And maybe you do want to get into the nitty gritty. You do want to get into the custom coding. Maybe you have some coding experience and you don't want to let that go to waste. Mm -hmm. Look, I feel for you, but yes, we can, we can help you. We got you. We, we, we got a service that I think will be a good fit for you. It's called, um, what is it called? I don't remember what it's called off top of my head, but it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a hosting account that allows you to install whatever kind of platform you want, whether it's WordPress, which is the most popular, or, or I think Drupla is another. There's a lot of other sort of environments where you can install your own environment and code based off of how you want to code. Um, WordPress is definitely the one I would recommend, and we have some great WordPress hosting plans inside of Brandesk Hosting. So, so if you want to go that route, we can meet you there. Um, you don't, we don't, you don't have to sort of take our website builder and try to sort of shoehorn custom code into it. Um, you can, you can just build your own environment completely on Brandesk hosting that meets your needs. Um, and, and we're really happy that we have those options available because I don't think those options are available on other platforms. Um, that being said, there is a unique advantage to using our website builder. Um, our website builder is designed in such a way as to be completely compliant with web standards. And that goes not just online, but also in terms of app development. We, our website builder has been designed so that whatever you build on our website builder can function perfectly, not just as a website, but also as an app and not just in one app store, but both Android and iOS. So you don't have to do double duty. You don't have to build your website and then build an app. If you've built your website on Brandes Coasting's website builder, we can take that and automatically convert that into an app for you and get that into the app store, both app stores, and then you can manage both your app and website experience using one single website builder service in Brandesk Hosting. And I, I do notice when I've worked on um, kind of build, building a site before and things like Wix and what have you, that they have this similar feature, but you have to toggle between, okay, here's what your site is, what is looking like on a desktop. Well, click the tab here. Here's what it looks like on a mobile device. Uh, and I find I get 
<laughs> I guess, thinking of a better way, I guess dizzy, <laughs> mm -hmm. going back and forth from, okay, well, I got my, my font and size and all that layout. Desktop's okay. Move over to the, toggle over to the, uh, the, the app version, mobile version, and what's lining up perfectly over here, suddenly it's, the text is too fat now. Oh, or, yeah. You know, the image that I had perfectly centered in the desktop version has been smushed down to the bottom. Like, what the hell? You know, then you're going back. Well, if I move, so I've got to change this now to fix that. But if this is perfect over here, if I change that, this is all to fix this. Now that's messed up. You know, it's it's that thing that just goes, has you going. So. <laughs> yeah, um, I can I can speak to that a little bit. Um, I, I Do I think we're better? Yes. I do, but I also think that that is, that is definitely a, 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 maybe a technological limitation probably in how those other services mm -hmm. are sort of understanding. That's my limitation. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was, I was trying, I was going to, I was going <laughs> to give you everything answer. but that. I was going to give you everything <laughs> but that, John, everything but that. Um, and, and that's a good example. That may be one area if that's someone you're, if you're like me in that regard, that you might need to, um, bring in some help from, from a brand desk t uh, team member mm -hmm. to handle that, er that side of things, perhaps. Yeah, you know what, look, this is a great opportunity to say that is something like that possible? Yes, it is. You know, brand desk, we're here, we've got 24 seven customer service support or customer support, customer service for brand desk hosting. So 24 seven, there's always someone available who can help guide you on, on the website builder. But if maybe you don't want guidance, maybe what you want is someone to just do it for you, which I'm not going to lie, that's basically me in probably 95% of situations. <laughs> um, just do it for me. Okay. Look, you and I both know what I'm looking for. Just do it for me. Okay. How much does it cost? So on brand desk, we've got this beautiful request system. We probably talked about it on a, on a few episodes back, but you can just simply go into the new request system. Tell us what you're looking for. Tell us what you want. Just use your own words to describe what you're looking for. Maybe throw in some examples if you've got some links to other people who are doing it the way you like. And then, and then we'll take it and we'll run with it. And um, we'll let you know, you know, how many credits it, it'll cost. You know, it's never, it's never really expensive. It's, you know, maybe one or two, maybe three credits, just depending on what you're asking for. And, um, and just like anything else on Brandos, we've got tons of flexible payment options to make it real easy for you to, to grab those credits if they're needed. Um, so, you know, there are a lot of options, You're, you know, if, if you don't want to finagle with the, what, with the website builder yourself, or maybe it's just not coming quite the way that you want it to, um, we can help you. We, we, we've got a great support team that can guide you. And then we've also got a great team, um, service team that can do it for you. Um, if you just let us know what you're looking for. So yeah, good, 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 good point, John. Very good point. <laughs> Thanks for listening to this episode of Build Your Difference. If you'd like to learn more about how Blue Artists can help you develop a distinguished brand that inspires and engages a growing audience, then please visit us at www.blue-artist.com and be sure and subscribe to our monthly podcast for the latest tips and trends in brand development and marketing. And remember, you're not just making a brand, you're making a difference. Start building yours today 